Hi, Yuko here. Today's topic is Come on, the family crest. There are nearly 20,000 kinds of family crests in Japan. Wow! Okay, let's begin. No matter how rich or poor you are, how high or low status you have, the one treasure all Japanese have is Kamen, a family crest. In Europe, family crest sounds like something noble people have, or they have great ancestors. But in Japan, everyone has a family crest. The crest has been handed down from generation to generation. Fujimon, Wisteria Flowers Crest, is one of the most popular Kamen designs. Original Fujimon is two downward Fuji blossom clusters. Collateral families used partial designs or modified the original one to create their new Fujimon varieties. Relatives share a part of the design of the crest, so you may be able to see the family connection by looking at the family crest. It tells a person's origin at a glance. This is the original Fujimon. More detailed design is added. Clusters are transformed. This one, the clusters are upward. A kanji letter is added in the middle. This one is interesting. There are no clusters like original one. The design of this crest is a combination of one wisteria flower and a butterfly. Then, the wings of the butterfly are extended. They look like clusters, similar to an original Fujimon. Wisteria flower is written like this in Japanese. Mon means crest. So, this crest is called Fujimon. This kanji letter is pronounced as Fuji, or To in Japanese. If a person's family crest is one of the varieties of Fujimon, his family name has the sound of To, or Fuji in many cases. Mr. Saito has To sound is in his name. Mr. Naito has To sound is in his name. Mr. Kato has To sound is in his name. Mr. Tomato has To sound. I'm kidding. The ancestor who began to use original Fujimon around 1000 years ago was Mr. Fujiwara. Fuji in his name. There are nearly 20,000 kinds of family crests with full of Japanese patterns. It is fun to look at them. If you download and print it out, you can hang it on the wall. Gorgeous artwork. There are three famous Japanese crests, you must know. Kirimon, Mitsuba Owl E, and Kikumon. The most famous historical Japanese crest is Mitsuba Owl E. For Shogun Takagawa, the general of the samurai society. Mitsuba Owl E. Means. Three leaves hollyhock. There was the Japanese popular TV program Mitu Komen. 42 years long run TV drama series, 1228 episodes total. At the very end of the show, a hero held this small box up high. And showed the crest to the villains. This crest is Mitsuba Owl E. The villains and rioters cast themselves on the road. Let's watch the scene that this crest appeared. <laughs> この<笑> This design of the crest is Mitsuba Owl E. Next one is Kiri Mon. Kiri means colonia tree. This crest is a Japanese national emblem. It is used by the government to give honor to people who contribute to the country. Medals and decorations have this design. 
last of all and the most important one is Kikuman. Chrysanthemum Blossom Design. It is the crest for the Imperial family. It has 16 petals, so it is also called Juroku, Kikuman, which means 16, petal, Chrysanthemum Crest. During the Iran-Iraq War, a European reporter saw the design of the bracelet of President Hussein of Iraq. It has a 16 petals chrysanthemum design on it. The reporter asked, it's very similar to the symbol of the Japanese imperial family. Is there any relationship? President Hussein replied, this symbol is used by our ancestors during the Sumerian dynasty when the world's oldest civilization was built. So, no connection between the Japanese imperial family and President Hussein. But, it is surprising that the same symbol was used far away from Japan a long time ago. Kikuman is also seen not only in Japan and on Hussein's bracelet, but also at the Ishtar Gate in Babylon, Egypt, Israel, and other Middle Eastern areas. It may suggest that Japanese ancestors, the imperial family, may have come from there. It has been discussed that the Japanese Jewish common ancestry theory, in which they have the same roots in Israel. The Japanese might be descendants of one of the Bible's legitimately lost clan. How was today's story? The Japanese ancestors may have come from Israel. Really? No wonder why the Japanese are good at the money business like Jewish people. Okay, that's for today. See you soon. Bye-bye.